Hey everybody, Animal Man Survivor here. I've got a very special video for you today. While on a recent camping trip, I was fortunate enough to camp next to a man named Eric. And uh, I was very, very impressed with what he was camping in, to say the least. He calls it the rig. And he spent the last nine years building this thing from scratch. And it is ready to go off the grid, camp wherever he wants. And it will amaze you just the setup. We're gonna start with the tech, show you all the tech on the outside and wait till you see how gorgeous the inside is. I'm gonna be behind the video camera the rest of the, of the uh, video, so you, you're not gonna see me, but you'll hear me talking to Eric, and he's gonna guide you and show you what he, what he created. Enjoy it, here we go. Yeah, my name is Eric, I'm from Massachusetts, and uh, this is one of my creations. This is the compartment, used to have a, uh, a generator in here, a 7,000 watt generator. Now it has 12 batteries, it has a pure sine wave inverter, circuit breakers. We utilize the space above it for uh, supplies for electrical repairs or anything like that on the road. And basically right. have, a, have the meter here that monitors basically your system like you would in your house with your uh, amper hours okay. and, and energy being used and produced. Voltage, 24 volt system sitting right now at 28, totally peaked out. Uh, zero amperage going in right now because it's, they're totally full. Nice. Yep, and a backup 24 volt charger. So you've got 24 batteries all together? 24. How many amp hours do you think total? That's 4,000 amp hours. All right, nice. And, what and kind most of... campers only have three to four batteries on board and they're, what, 96 to 100 amp? Yes, yeah. Amper hours? Yeah, mostly they're yeah. deep cycle marines probably. Exactly, right? yeah, and they're only like 100 maxed out. Yeah, that's what Amper mine are hours. at the house. They're about yeah. 100. So these are AGM batteries? These are AGM, glass mat. Yep, glass mat batteries. There's a series of 24. There's 12 here, 12 on the other side. And uh, they're bus barred together, as you can tell. Uh, it's set together as a 24-volt system. So how do you charge them? Uh, charged by solar. We have two uh, high-output Samsung HDI panels on the roof. And... Uh, 60, 65 uh, amp charge controller uh, in turn feeds to the batteries takes the AC power from the solar changes it into DC and uh, charges the batteries awesome very very cool yeah what's this behind you what's this what's this all oh, that there's thing that over here when we get there because you know <laughs> a lot of people tow their vehicles behind their uh, rigs and stuff like yeah that. they do uh, since we have this nice little uh, flatbed on the back here we uh, purchasing last year a gem electric car and also I put AGM batteries in that too nice a series of uh, six batteries all together produces a 72 volt system most golf carts are usually 24 to 48 volts this one here sits at 72 volts and it could be uh, in Massachusetts we get these plates called an EV plate uh, totally electric and same thing off the grid it's charged by solar and street legal street legal yeah and um, she'll do a good uh, 40 miles an hour. You know, she's got a good range of oh, 30 wow, okay. 40, 40 miles, 30 to 40 miles. Um, and it basically doesn't cost us a, a penny to drive. That's awesome. It's charged by the sun. That's awesome. Yep. Very cool. And it depends on where we're going is what vehicle we bring. If oh, yeah. What else could you put on there? Well, if we go to mountain regions, we have a, a Mini 500 helicopter that we take with us. <laughs> no uh, no kidding. We'll do some tour on the mountain sides. Or you could put quads on there. Quads or boats. Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Oh, boats. Yeah, cool. Okay. What about for water? What about your water system here? Our water system is about 150 gallons on board. Um, we have a gray water tank and a black water tank. And uh, we just upgraded our hot water tank. It's sitting right over here, Matt. And basically, it's a... Um, Demand. Okay. It's one of the new on-demand hot water tanks. Uh, basically, um, it's uh, instant hot water. So, for and people who don't know what that is, what's the difference from that from a from a normal hot water heater? Uh, the regular hot water RV heater is basically has a tank, aluminum tank, and they have to be flushed out every year, and uh, they have to be drained properly, or you can you know reduce a crack when it freezes. And at a certain time, it the, uh, the hot water temperature will drop down because it, it, sometimes they don't keep up. Uh, with the on-demand, with the, uh, the copper coils in there and the burner in, in between that, inside, in case, you have instant hot water and it's as long as whatever kind of water you have in your storage tank or if you're hooked up into 
you know, basically their water. You can stay yep. in the shower as long as you want. That sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> Most women like that. I want one. <laughs> Just from hearing that, I want one. This and this is it, right? Housed in there, right? That's, That's the right system there, right yeah. there. That's the new system. So as soon as you switch hot water on, when you turn the knob, it starts it starts heating it up as it comes through the the, so, the lines. As soon as it uh, loses water pressure. Okay. And our water pressure, which basically I'll show you the water system that's on board this thing, that's uh, pretty neat. Okay. And everybody's used to like sure sure flow products. And um, oh, this thing was almost dead. And and Flowjet. This is a new company that's out there, I believe. It's marine grade. It's professional grade. It's called Sea Flow. Okay. And uh, basically, uh, it uh, produces a little bit more pressure than most pumps. Uh, RV see. pumps are usually 45 to 50. This one here is uh, pretty close to. Uh, it will go up to uh, 66, about 60, uh, 60 pounds of pressure. It can build up. Right now, our city water pressure right now on that gauge is showing pretty close to 80, which I've seen it go up to pretty much about 81, 82. But our water here is usually about is, is 80 pounds. Okay. So it's pretty close to city water, some places. And that's your water filter over there? That's my one of my water filters there. And uh, we have an Evapier underneath the sink that filters everything out. So what's in, what's in door number three? Okay, now we gotta get to where the heat is uh, produced. For those cold, uh, those cold nights. All right. Uh, basically, this is where our propane is stored, and um, we got the main propane tank here. And uh, okay, how many pounds is that? This one's probably about maybe thirty, maybe uh, maybe thirty or forty gallons. Okay. This one here, because they go by gallons when they get into these big ones here. Okay. And. Um, then we got the regular, you know, 20 pounders over here. But basically what we have here is a uh, extended stay. For some reason that you, you forget to have this thing filled and you were a little low and you were camping for some time and uh, you use this uh, tank up, you could always switch over by moving the switch down to here and uh, you'll be on your extended stay 20 pound bottle. All right, we're gonna check out the inside now. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, you got that. Basically, this is the inside of the box. Uh, basically, it was bare inside. I uh, started building this thing, like I told you, nine years ago. And it was just an empty, uh, dry box that over the road on a straight job tractor, which we craned and dropped on top of this chassis after I built it. And uh, basically, this is, uh, we ended up putting a 47 inch smart TV Samsung in, uh, put a leather couch in. And, uh, and somebody gave you that couch, right? Yeah, That's... a friend of mine put an office. He wanted to put an office inside his uh, inside his camper in his uh, Class C there. So he uh, he invited me to come up to New Hampshire to pick this thing up, and uh, it was the perfect couch for this thing. Just happened to be there at the right time. Yeah, and, and yeah. you ran a heat vent right into the couch, huh? Yeah, there's heat vents in there, and it's all uh, central heat through the floors. And there's uh, the heat vent yeah. right there. And then we got central air in the ceiling here we got a couple vents over here and uh what we did was we used to have a um this truck used to have a sleeper cab so when we pulled it off i took the boot and we mated it to the box and basically it's a walk through i should say me through <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to kind of make it a little homey in here so we uh ended up uh Last year, I put a hardwood floor in here just to oh, kind of make at, it match. Look at this. Holy cow. And then we put a rosewood steering wheel and a rosewood armrest over there on the right and like left. Like a cedar wheel. Yeah. Oh, there's the armrest. Okay. Yep. And then the, even, gorgeous. we even did the shifter handle to match it. And I built that uh, the uh, shifter, uh, basically boot, that aluminum boot there and everything to cover the main shaft to kind of give it a little bit of style. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. We got the rear backup system, GPS on the dash. Don't mind the wiring, still kind of like finishing up a few things, but <laughs> that's what it takes when, you, when you're building things. It takes time. And awesome, awesome. Here and there. The main thing is we're using it now. And that's a little curtain that we designed to put in here and uh, cover that off so when you're in here, you know, you don't even know you're, there's a truck in front of you. Who sewed that curtain? Uh, I did. <laughs> So basically I did all the welding, all the fabricating, all the machining of a lot of different pots on the outside. 
kind of make my own brackets, fabricate. And uh, we just finished doing the uh, window boxes in here. I just finished those, uh, built those last week. Beautiful. And these came out of a, an old motor home, the, the fabric there. There were window boxes. I took apart and took the fabric off it and made the uh, inner supports out of Luan, quarter inch Luan. And uh, basically put the foam on that and uh, did the upholstery work and built these window boxes and put new blinds up in here because we had the Venetian ones that used to make a lot of noise. Yeah, that's so what we have in our trailer. Yeah, so <laughs> the, I didn't want to hear that, so I wanted it kind of quiet, so we put these in. Okay. And they're kind of like a day night, they let light in. They're nice. So yeah. what do you have for uh, for the lighting in here in the ceiling? See some lights, yeah, lights up here. Yeah, we have all LEDs up here. And they're run by a TFT panel, touch screen. What just in the like world? you would have on your cell phone. It's a touch screen, so basically... No kidding. Yep, you hit that, it's on. Oh yeah, there basically, they go. Basically it's a glass panel. Yeah, they are. And if you want to dim them, you can put your finger here and rotate it clockwise, counterclockwise, and they will dim down, as you can tell. And if you like that, position there you can hit memory and now when you turn them back on again they come to the same basically the same setting and you can bring it bring them back up to your peak there so you get your favorite mood, mood lighting exactly cool yep, cool yep. you can set it and go back to memory anytime or change the memory and basically touch they're off that's neat yep and then um, we ended up uh, basically this is the um, main distribution center here for all the electrical. Let me put this LED light on, it might help our little Oh, there you go, yeah, lighting. yeah. Yep. Um, basically, this is one of one of our, um, what, do you, uh, what do you call them there, the uh, inverters. Actually, it tells you, you know, what kind of power you're drawing, the voltage, and uh, what your output is. Okay. And uh, this over here is your TriStar um, Morningstar charge controller. It's a remote panel from the main one that's downstairs that we'll show you after when we go back outside. Okay. And um, basically, we have a uh, Wi-Fi antenna here that reaches uh, 65 miles. Uh, it goes up on the tower with the, with the flagpole. On top oh, that's, flagpole. What, that's what the flag was on. All right, yep. all right. Yep. So, and then we have our Netgear router here that routes the signal around the whole um, the rig here. And uh, the power antenna one is basically for our um, our high def off grid um, air channels, high definition. <laughs> so when you turn that on, it powers that one up. All right. And um, over to the left here is a uh, satellite dome. So if you're in a place where you can't get any kind of reception or anything, and you want to switch the satellite, you turn that on. It'll automatically track the satellite and lock on. Then you're on TV again. Wow. Yep. And uh, over here is basically a monitoring system for your uh, your batteries. Oh, I have a lot of stuff on that side too. Okay. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, tri tri trimetric battery monitoring system. Um, I have two different voltages in here. I have 12 volts, so we're at 13.3 right now. And you can switch over and check your 24 volt system, which is sitting like I said, peaked out at 20 20 uh, 28.5 volts right now. Uh, so basically this is our uh, bathroom. We have a uh, stand-up shower in here and we ended up putting a, I designed a uh, skylight in here so we get some lighting at the same time. Oh, look at that, it's, it looks like a legit it's skylight. Nice. Yeah, talk about having a sun shower, you know. Yeah, the right sun <laughs> it's, it's literally nice. sun yeah. shower. And uh, over here I put a French door in, a half of a French door that I found at one of these close-out places and uh, fit perfect in here, the, the measurements. I fit this and put this in. Yeah. And then we ended up putting a um, the vanity. Come around Let's this way. Go through. You'll Come see the vanity you. on this side. Tried to keep everything with the brush stainless look, so we ended up uh, putting this uh, this faucet in. We went with the you know the hard the regular hardwood you know uh, vanity. Uh, we used a uh, a tile board. It's called fossil stones. If you look at it, you'll see all different types of sea uh, sea life. Oh yeah, see so some am daughter, ammonite snails yeah, in there, which my, and... which my daughter Amanda loves. <laughs> so we went with everything with different types of uh, you know seashells and stuff like that. This is the master bedroom, and um, it's a queen size bed, built a bed with drawers underneath, uh, with a backboard with LEDs again that we ended up putting behind this thing, like indirect lighting. 
So it gives it a nice lighting in here. Absolutely, yeah, I like yeah. it. Plus you have the LEDs over here too. If you need to put these on, you can put these on for reading at night or something if you just want a dimmer light. And um, over here is my... Uh, is that a decoration or is that a no, wind turbine? My, my, my other half doesn't <laughs> like it there. But, uh, I just store it there when I'm when I'm here, but I will have a place outside for it. That's the, uh, the blaze for my wind turbine. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We ended Very up cool. putting a uh, you know entertainment center back here too. I went with a Samsung uh, sound bar that's above the door. There's, there's a sound bar. Yeah, I went with a small uh, LED uh, TV. Uh, we got the small Samsung uh, Blu-ray runs on 12 volts, and then we have our uh, wireless wireless sub. Uh, you know, part of the uh, home theater system. Right there. Yep. Cool. Yeah, and that's another just part of our HVAC over here for your heat and air condition. It's got all digital readout and stuff. So is that just for the bedroom? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's one here and there's one in the front. All right, awesome. Yeah, that's basically for your heat and air conditioning. Yep. So that's... this is very cool. Hey, thank you so much for sharing this. Yep. Going to make a cool video. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Matt. Yep. <laughs> Hope you guys will enjoy this. Thanks again to Eric for taking the time to show me around and let me videotape your creation, share it with the world. Um, if you guys want to see some more really cool videos from me, please subscribe to Animal Man Survivor here on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.